it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and I'm back with part two of my haul video which was from the auction and a yard sale uh, and here we go okay we're gonna first talk about my cookie jars I got these at the auction and they were about five dollars a piece um, some were six dollars um, but let's just say five dollars a piece uh, and I got quite a few of them I got this really cool one right here now first of all all these are gonna be going in my booth they're not going to be going online in fact I'm gonna be pulling I think I have two cookie jars right now listed. I'm gonna be pulling those and putting those on my booth too. So I'm gonna have a whole bunch of cookie jars. <laughs> uh, this one is a pig and it is made by Treasure Craft. It's marked on the bottom here. Uh, and I don't really, you know, there are other Treasure Craft cookie jars like with, with pigs online, but it's mostly of the farmer, the farmer pig. I don't really see this one all too often. I'm just gonna put $35 on it. I'd rather sell it in person anyway. And um, that's true with all cookie jars because they're just, you know, they're big. I worry about them breaking and they're just, they're kind of heavy too. So this is a nice ceramic cookie jar in very good shape. Right here we have a lion and it has, these always confuse me because it doesn't truly look like a lion, but it's a lion and then there's like a little lion cub right here. And it's wearing a cap. Again, with this applied paint over. Now, this is over the glaze right here, but yet the brown is under the glaze. And then again, pink over the glaze, black and white over. So, yeah. Um, and it's already wearing away up there. So there is a minor crack. Well, call it what you will. I say minor. <laughs> There's a crack on the hat. And it sort of almost goes all the way through, what it feels like. Um, I put $25 on it and that'll go in the booth. I got this little, um, I think it's a frog. I got this for free. The guy did not want it and he said I can have it. Uh, it's made in Japan, it's marked that on the bottom, but there's no other identification on it um, anywhere. But it's really cool. It just, it's a, it's a weird one for me. I don't know. I don't know if it's a frog, why it's yellow or beige. So yeah, I just put 20 bucks on it and it's kind of a little bit smaller as you can see compared to the other ones. We'll go right around here. This is an Atlantic Mold Splatter Rooster cookie jar. I've learned from others on my channel in my comments that this was a mold that you would buy and paint yourself and then fire it in your, um, not your refrigerator, in your oven. And yeah, so they did a really good job with this splatter technique in here. Um, and look, the red is under the glaze. That's how you should do it. So yeah. Um, but yet, up here it's over the glaze. Oh, just when I thought they did it right. Um, okay. So yeah, I put 35 on this. It may or may not go for that. I don't know, but people like roosters. So hopefully it does go for that. And here we have a vintage twin Winston, Winton. Winton, W-I-N-T-O-N, uh, cookie jar. That's the maker, and it's of a sailor mouse. Very cute. Um, oops, nothing in there. Uh, yeah, so I put uh, 20 bucks on him because he's a little bit more large. It's sort of abstract of a concept, so $20 on him. And then here we have a very cool 1940s, I think, yes, made by Royal Wear, and again with the external red paint and other colors that are all wearing away. So yes, if you take any sort of a wet rag to this, you will pull paint off, um, which I know now. Not because of this incident, I, did, I clean these very well, but I learned in the past that that's what happened with all that for somebody else that came off. Um, but yeah, pretty very cool, 35 on him. Over here, these are those other two pictures that I got for a dollar. Uh, this one's very cool. It is kind of like a stained glass lit. Uh, I don't want to say lead because that's a little bit weird to say when you're drinking from it, but it's metal applique on the outside. $20 I put on it. Whoops. <laughs> $20 that I put on it. And um, yeah, paid a dollar for it among the other two. Here's one of the, uh, the one of the other ones. I put twenty dollars on it. It's very heavy, um, and it's old. There, I don't know if it'll pick up, but there are little tiny tiny bubbles in the glass. 
uh, it's very, very nice. There is some chips along the bottom edge. I don't know if I can find them now. And there, and there is some marks right here. Can you see that? Right in here, there's like some, some marks. I don't know if that was due to be it being made or, or what. And I have a feeling this might be crystal, but I, I don't know much about crystal. It just sort of shimmers in the light and it's very heavy and old. So that's awesome. Put 20 bucks on it for the booth. Okay. We'll wrap around here and look up. This was an awesome find. I found this at a yard sale for $2 and it is inland glass, I-N-L-A-N-D. It's a triangular casserole dish. It would originally, I need to set down. It originally would have a base to it, a uh, warming, a warming base or one of those types. Uh, but it's in very, very nice shape with the gold triangles on the triangular dish. Uh, I'm going to try to sell it for $24 in the booth. If I can't get that, then it'll go online for about that price. Um, traditionally, where my booth is set up, we don't have a, a, um, a whole lot of a mid-century crowd. That's kind of why I can buy mid-century for decent prices around here. Um, but yet, Pyrex and stuff always sells. But the mid-century themed items don't, to me, do as well locally. Um, I got this really cool, it is a, an aluminum, it says at the bottom, pure, pure aluminum, made in USA. It's a pitcher, and it holds your, um, keeps the ice from falling in, uh, in very nice shape. I'll try to sell that for $15 in the booth. It's pretty lightweight, but I don't know if I have a box enough to ship this first class. Um, so I'm going to try to sell it locally first. If not, it'll go online. And then here we have a 1940s. Pyrex mixing bowl number 402 and it has the older stamp on it and how you know it's an older stamp is because it says TM for trademark rather than just have the registered R logo um, and so where it says B-52 you would see an R the registered R trademark logo there instead of B-52 so it says TM reg that would be a late, um, a, what am I trying to say? A late, a mid four, <laughs> a 1940s, early 50s Pyrex piece. Right there. Uh, over here, it's not Spice of Life, but this is called uh, Fall Harvest by Fire King. Um, mm. <laughs> there we are, Anchor Hawking, and one and a half quart. I'll put that in the booth for $7. It doesn't really sell very well online, so I figured sell it in person. And then over here, lastly, we've got this nice uh, glass bake maple leaf pattern design in a milk glass. And there's the bottom stamp. Um, and it's in pretty nice shape. So we'll sell that for $12. Um, up front here, we've got a little clock, a baby bin. I love selling these baby bins. I paid 75 cents at a yard sale. Uh, it's a very, very nice shape, and I'll sell this for probably um, $15 or $18, which includes shipping. This really pretty trinket dish was only $0.75, cents, and it has uh, peacocks on it, um, and on the bottom is marked made in, well, it just says Japan Lego. I feel like Lego left in, I feel like that stands for something, but I can't remember fine quality it says and um, it's just like I guess a trinket dish or jewelry dish but that should do pretty well online probably 20 to 25 dollars with shipping included this is just one of those funny things that I had to show it is a wind up fire breathing nun and I have to wind her up quite a bit um, just a minute It's hard, oopsie, it's hard for her to walk on a tablecloth, especially. The inside of her mouth, I don't know if you can tell. She has sparks that's not going to show up. There are sparks that do pop out of her mouth, or more or less inside of her. Oh, there was one. There we go. So yeah, she has sparks come out of her mouth and uh, she waddles across the floor. 
Um, so yeah, I just put, I'm going to put that in the booth for about $8 and uh, hope that it sells because it's pretty cool. And lastly on the table, and then I'll clear it for a little bit more, uh, we've got this really cool Starburst coffee um, coffee pot. There, I do need to do some damage control. This piece of metal right here should go back down and be glued back on. Um, but other than that, I paid $2 for this. It's in very nice shape. It's made by Colony, I think, Colony. Uh, and it has its base. It does not have its um, heat source, little, little metal pod there. It doesn't have that, but I think I'll still be able to sell it just fine online. Um, probably $20 to $30 included is, shipping is included. Okay, here we have some rulers. These are some old wooden rulers. Uh, these pop up a lot of times at auctions, especially the country ones. Um, I ended up getting all these rulers for $5. I have not tried selling them in my booth before, uh, but I hope that I can make at least 2 or $3 a piece on these. Uh, so I paid $5, and I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 rulers. So, um, yeah, I did not price them yet. I just put, you know, what they are, and I'm going to take them into where my booth is at and ask the person that uh, knows more about what she's, you know, what go comes in, what actually sells, so I know what the average selling price is on rulers like this. I'll probably price them all the same, uh, more or less on the higher end, and then price them down as they set. Uh, but there, there's some pretty cool ones in here. Uh, this is the item that really kind of broke the bank, more or less, at the auction. I spent $54 on these, and there's six of them, so I paid $9 a piece, $54. I don't know if I said that, $54. Um, wait a minute, nine times six, 54. Um, <laughs> they're really cool, they're like a marbleized handle. These are old carnival um, canes, is what the guy called, the auctioneer called them. Uh, so they're old carnival canes. Um, this one comes with a ring for some reason. But uh, I had choice. There were, I think, probably a good 10 more of them that I left. Because, you know, obviously $9 is quite a bit when you add it up. Uh, so I grabbed the three red and three blue. I think there was two red ones that I left and then a whole bunch of orange ones and a couple yellow ones. But um, I think what I'm going to do online is put two of these together, a red and a blue. Uh, and do that three times, and I'm going to sell each set of them for about $30 or $40. Uh, so we'll see how that goes, but they're just really cool. If I can't sell them, I don't really care. Um, I got them because I was really intrigued by them. The colors are really pretty, and I do like carnival stuff. Um, so they're pretty awesome. Uh, the last thing on the table is just these wooden rolling pins. I paid $5 for the box of them. And I pretty much have them all listed for $8, except for this one, because it's not really, I don't think, a real one. I don't know. Maybe this is technically a real one. It just doesn't move. The handles aren't independent of the, the, the body of it. So $8 on each of those, and then $4 on this one right here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed everything that I showed you. Uh, don't forget to comment. Uh, like and subscribe if you haven't. I'm going to be getting closer and closer to a thousand subscribers, which is fantastic. Um, so anyway, thanks. Bye-bye.